Hey, everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. And a lot of great things going on around campus with not only our athletic teams, but also our club sports. And that's one thing that we've really been bulking up on over the last year. And one of the big great things that have happened with our club sports is our eSports program. They've qualified for the Final Four, and joining us is Dan Clark. And, you know, Dan, it's got to be exciting. This is the second year, if I'm not mistaken, of the eSports side of things, and you guys are, you know, going to the Final Four representing Maryville. Well, it's the second semester, so it's the first year still. Um, right now we hold a 36-0 record, and we're hoping to finish out the year with 40-0. Talk a little bit about what eSports really is, and this is for the people that have no idea and, you know, how big it's really gotten over, you know, the last maybe five years. So esports has been around for a little while. It, it just decided to blow up the past few years, though. So basically, it is competitive video gaming. So the best players in the world play against each other for big prize pools and big stadiums. Uh, we had a sold-out tournament in Madison Square Garden. We had a sold-out tournament in Vegas. Um, and the esports guys are going to DreamHack, which is going to be the biggest LAN event in the history of North America. And you guys are playing different colleges from around the United States. Talk about that experience to be, you know, Maryville University, a Division II school, playing teams from Michigan and Minnesota and Florida. So we're a small university, obviously. We recruited our players. Uh, we play a lot of really big universities like uh, Michigan State. We're going to be in the Final Four against uh, Waterloo, McMaster, um, and RMU, so Robert Morris, which is the other big scholarship school in the nation. Um, it's actually it's actually really cool to get to see get to see our players play against other universities. Uh, really, get, I really get to see the pride come out in our players when we get to beat some of the big schools. It's pretty awesome. And this just this isn't Madden 16 or MLB the Show 16. This is you know different strategy games that you guys are playing. Talk a little bit about that. So the game that the team here plays currently, we're going to expand, of course, but we play a game called League of Legends, which is a 5v5 real-time strategy game where basically you control, uh, each player controls a character that does a specific role, much like uh, an athlete does a different role in basketball or hockey. And uh, the goal is to work together around the map and uh, destroy the other team's base. Uh, it's 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 really difficult game because you, you have to process like, six to eight influxes of information at the same time as well as communicate the, what you're seeing to your teammates and then you have to operate on uh on situations in like a split second so you have to you have to take all this information in and then and then uh, react correctly in like a in like a fraction of a second talk about the um student athletes that are participating in the esports that'll be making the trip to the final four at dreamhack so I recruited these players individually from around the country. We have a Canadian and uh, three kids from California. Um, the reason why I picked these kids and kind of the reason why I did this program uh, was these kids are borderline pro level. So they aren't like uh, the typical college athlete. They are playing at a very, very high level. But the reason why I brought them here is uh, so I also want a professional team. And... Uh, I spent the last year like kind of learning the whole tricks of the trade and everything like that. I actually qualified a team for the Premier Esports League, which is the League of Legends uh, North American Championship. Um, and I had one player on that team that had that had dropped everything for like the past four years to try to go professional. And this is a story that you see throughout the industry a lot. And um, to see like all these sacrifices finally pay off for him and for him to go pro was like just to see that heightened emotion of him was awesome to see, but we didn't have the capital to uh, compete with the other top teams, so we actually got relegated. And to see like the emotional high that this player went from sacrificing like all this stuff to go pro and then losing it all that quickly, uh, that's why I picked these five players to come here. It's just it's the start of something because I wanted to give players in the industry an avenue like something else that they could potentially do with their careers so that it's not like they're worrying constantly what's going to happen if they don't go pro or if it doesn't work out. And that was kind of what I went through when I, when I uh, went through the process of picking these players out. That's awesome. Now, when is the Final Four? When is DreamHack? And uh, how can people kind of keep tabs on what's going on with it? So, the, so DreamHack's going to be from May 6th to the 8th. We get there that Thursday for, for, for press and team pictures and stuff. We, we play all of our matches on Sunday, though, so that's going to be on the 8th. 
Um, you can keep updated with the team through C Star League. We have a Twitter. Um, the games will be broadcasted on twitch.tv slash Star League, and we're going to bring home a championship. Outstanding stuff. Thanks so much for your time. We're really excited, and good luck at DreamHack. Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Dan Clark joins us here, and we will be able to follow a lot of stuff with our eSports team over the next couple weeks as they get ready to participate in the Final Four down at DreamHack, and you can follow all that stuff as well on our Twitter feed, at Maryville Saints. For Dan, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.